everybody, welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host, Phoenix, and today I'm joining my co-host, Jolene. Hello, hello. Welcome in. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm glad that you're one of my regulars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got- I'm I glad that we, you know. Yeah, I gotta keep- I'm, I'm happy to it. spend these Tuesdays together. Yay. Except these will probably be uploaded on, like, I think, I don't Thursday. Know. Thursday, Tuesday, I don't know. All depends. Hello from the past. Yes. I hope all your mistakes are forgotten. <laughs> and like I that... hope they were worth it. Yeah, like that mistake you made in middle school. <laughs> no! Please! <laughs> Those three years were a mistake. <laughs> anyway. Well, today, uh, well, we got a little sad. Because, um, we, we no longer can read the law book anymore. And whatnot. I mean, technically, there's still a chapter left, but that's not enough to make a whole video, you know? So, <laughs> what better option is there than to uh, go date his dad? <laughs> and, and that is Taurus on himself. <laughs> Love him. Love that for us. Yeah. This, this is the definition of, like, I'm, I'm cheating on you with your dad. <laughs> We are, we, but it's okay. We we made a new we made a new person. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're so technically that, different people. Yeah, different bitch. All right. Well, you you picked this out, and you, you said this. I is did. I saw it in my recommended when we were reading our last thing. Damn, Wattpad just. And knew. I was like, and and I was like, this is pretty. The, the cover's really pretty. Yeah. They say don't judge a book a book by its cover, but you know. Oh well, who's gonna stop me? Yeah, honestly, this cover is is very well done. I don't know if this is is this theirs? Like, did they? Okay, judging by the description, it doesn't say that they don't own this, so I'm gonna assume that it, they own it. This this fan art is really good. I love the like the texture and the colors and stuff, and then the font's really pretty. Unfortunately for me, I can't read cursive that well, so thank God there's the plain text right next to it. What, what fuck? What does that word even say? Ephemeral? Ephemeral. 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 Okay. Rosinant slash Corazon X reader. Very excited. I can't believe you like. <laughs> even when we put it on the wheel, you're like add Corazon X reader. I never. I saw it on the wheel. Go actively for X readers. <laughs> it, it was there, man. You're like, well, do I don't like it too. <laughs> Look. What the gods foretold. I'm looking, and I who, see contradictions Who am I to right disobey? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, contradictions. I've never contradicted myself. Bitch! <laughs> Where? I, I know for a fact that you are not the type of person to go and read X-Readers. No. No. But I'm just like, this could be good. Yeah. And the first chapter was really interesting. Alright, and I have not read this at all. And why not? I literally just read it on my break at work. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I can't take it anymore. I need, I need to see what this is all about. I need to know. I need to know. I didn't know if I need to... Like, retract. You know. Yeah. Yeah. But there's no need. No need. Yeah. Anyway. Honestly, we probably should do that for more we today. stuff. <laughs> yeah, just, like, check first chapter. Yeah. Because sometimes, like, the... Cause sometimes spelling and would... grammar would be so bad that like you, it's like uncomprehensible sometimes, and you're like struggling to read. I mean, we've done that with a, we've done that with a couple things. Yeah. We just gotta be consistent. Yeah. Like I was not prepared for, like there was no warning for the, like the last one in the in the scenes, and I was I was very confused. I was I was a little alarmed. What? The... But it's okay. <laughs> we made it through. And Shane. <laughs> I was not. I was not prepared. I was not prepared for those three paragraphs of just shank jacking off. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> is that is that not what he was doing? I mean, he was. Are you, gonna, are you gonna listen to me and tell me that I'm wrong? <laughs> Am I wrong? She floated down in a bubble. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, besides the shank's wanking session. Uh, <laughs> The description yeah, but... of this reads, The miracle of silence. You wish to stay with him, but will he want it after he hears your agreement with Doflamingo? A few days to love and be truly yourself. Book fits with canon storyline, even if Rosie and uh, Rosie's alive. Plot driven, complete. Don't... 
what did that say? Plagiarize. Oh, plagiarize. Uh, <laughs> I leave my heart in these books. You do not own One Piece or its characters. Except for Yan. We own Yan. It's it, it, She's our bitch right now. And we, we do have a name. Her name is Sylvia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, her name is Sylvia. I, named, I, I chose three names, and we went with this one. Yeah. Also, I love this fan art in the first chapter. It is so pretty. Oh, shoot. Sorry, I want chapter two. Oh. <laughs> wow, you skipped yeah, it. Wait, wait. Hey, I did know. not look. Look, I'm not. I'm not looking at the fan art. I'm looking at the text. I'm the definition. Well, looking fun. at the pictures. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, where's my? Do we have a coin. I had a. Co I have my coin. Let's see if I throw it on the floor this time when I spin it. <laughs> it'll be our fourth. It'll be third or fourth time you do that. If you do hit it on the floor. Yay! Let's see if we go for number five. Alright, heads or tails? Oh, shoot, you're asking me. I was like, I was waiting for the result. <laughs> well, you need, a, um, you need to get. <laughs> I'll, choose, I'll choose tails. Okay. Tails! It okay. didn't fall on the floor this time. Anyway, you didn't hear that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing fell on the floor. Damn, you just throwing shit and you're like, fuck, I don't wanna read first. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. I rehearsed this. It's mm -hmm. fine. Watch me stumble over every single word. Don't worry, I'll be here silently judging while sipping my Arizona iced tea. <laughs> fuck you and your Arizona <laughs> iced tea. What flavor is it? Half and half. Mmm, <laughs> you're on thin ice. <laughs> Let me out, you shout. After the second hour in the darkness. Just let me go turn to the, turn to the huge stack upside down and shake it roughly so you fall into the freezing snow. The huge pirate looks at you with an emotion of place. Don't forget our deal, Sylvia. He states and kicks you to the left. Complete your part here and I'll keep my word too. You huddle yourself to keep the little warmth of your body. But then you see it. A tall blonde man lying beside you, lying beside you covered with deep wounds and blood. His face is painted and peaceful with a slight smile spread on his lips. Satan, I'll be back in a week. Don't try to leave this island, brawls Duplamingo deeply, turning around. He looks too angry to say anything more. There's nothing else around the three of you. The man is almost dead. I'm not strong enough, you cry, crawling for the injured body. If you can't do it, I'll make your life hell. I don't care about our agreement in this case. And you can't even imagine how creative I am in torture. Do as I said. He knows that I'll try. Like, Duplamingo doesn't turn back, and you bite your lip. If I want to heal his wounds, please, out off my leg, you whisper, and the man glances back at you with a pissed face. It won't, it won't hurt so bad if you do. Your misery means nothing to me. He answers with a cold smile and leaves you there. You start tumbling in the snow. I have to do it. I have to do it again. I can't leave this man here to die if anything I if there's anything I could do to save him. I have to. You tear you tear the sleeve off his heart patterned shirt and tie it to your left thigh as strictly as you can to stop the flowing of blood. And you start moving your right hand in the air, biting your left forearm to not scream. Your double fruit always starts working slowly as always. It rips the cells out of your foot one by one. Huh? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What devil it's fruit okay, is we're... this? <laughs> we'll get there. I promise. Man, we fucking, like, we got shafted with this devil fruit. We rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, no, no. Once you understand, I'll get better. I'll get better. You'll, okay. you'll, you'll get it. You'll get it. You'll get it. This is like some shitty healing powers. Are we going to have our legs chopped up to heal this man? Your questions will be answered soon. Next time I'll you try to <laughs> You try to keep them from your blood. From your blood, too, but some leak into the snow. Pain. You want to close your eyes, but you have to pay attention. Your tears run down your arm. Your teeth rip your skin. Why does it hurt? This the parcels of your flesh, bone, and blood fly up in the air and switch form. There, before entering the wounds of the blonde man, your back curves as you continue. Who are you? Why does the woman care about you? Pain. 
You two look quite similar, yet so different. Your face looks so peaceful, so kind. What did he do to receive that monstrous anger? He left you. And then left me here, too. You boost your devil fruit to finish quicker. Pain. I can't heal him soon. I'll lose consciousness. If I can't heal him soon, I'll lose consciousness and he'll die. Something gleams around his neck. You let go of your right hand and start screaming at the exact moment, but you stifle it to quickly take the little thing. The silver pendant with a single name on it. Don Quixote Rosanon. And we switched that for some point of view. Damn. <laughs> feel cold. So cold. No? What happened? I feel something warm too. The body. A body? Law! His eyes his eyes open and he sits up. It doesn't hurt. Nothing hurts anymore. Corazon looks at his chest. It's still bloody. His shirt is full of holes where the bullet entered his body. Softy. But the wounds disappeared. He can't even find a scratch on his skin. And then he sees it. A young woman lying beside him covered in a thin layer of snow. Was it on to his next thought? It's the little boy from White Town. But when he looks back, all the boxes and treasure disappeared. Maybe it worked. I'm coming along. I'll find you no matter what. No matter where you are. But how am I alive? With all those shots, there's no way. This woman? She must have done it somehow. We can't leave her here. She'll grow cold. He stands up slowly, but his body is truly fine. Like a miracle. The snow is red from his blood at some places. There, there. Says Coruscant tenderly to the girl who can't even hear him. The blonde man carefully lifts her body and frowns as it reveals, as it reveals him the white blanket. Her leg is it only, it isn't only my blood. There's a tight bandage on her lower thigh, and under the knee there is nothing but a pulsing flesh wound. It looks like someone tore it off. Don't tell me it was you, Dolphy. He would. I have to treat him. <laughs> yeah, he would. <laughs> yeah. In character so <laughs> far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rosinante takes off his coat and lays the woman on it carefully, then pulls her to his wide chest. God, for some unknown reason, you decided to make me the clumsiest being in this world. Please, let me get to help safely now. I don't want to drop her. Aww. Please. No, no back to Sylvia. That was cute. He does have a <laughs> wide chest. <laughs> I guess. Uh, okay. You wake up in a little yeah. room <laughs> next to a sizzling fire. Boy, slowly, says a deep voice. You shiver at first when you look there, but you recognize the man you healed. He's standing by the window, clinching the boards to prevent the cold wind from entering. Rosanaji drops the hammer to the ground, but he turns to you, and it falls on his foot. Shit! He shouts, jumping on one leg. You can't help but chuckle a bit. You shouldn't laugh. That's mean, he objects. <laughs> Why am I here? I remember that I couldn't move after healing him, but... You are Rosinante, right? How do you know? You point to his neck and he looks at the pendant. I see, but... Who are you? How's your leg? What happened to it? I've never seen such a terrible wound. Too many questions. A pale smile appears on your lips and you carefully sit up, leaning to the wall. You start to warm your hands with the fire. I didn't go back... I didn't dare go back to this town, but I got some herbs and bandages to stop the bleeding. This is an abandoned house, he says, embarrassingly scratching the nape of his neck with a slight blush. <gasps> blush? What? <laughs> <laughs> he likes <He> likes us? <laughs> He's just embarrassed. He doesn't even like- he doesn't know us yet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, he likes us! <laughs> he just knows he can't leave us to die. Yeah. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> <laughs> False alarm. <laughs> you shake your you shake your head to show that it doesn't matter and examine the work he did on your injury. It still hurts like hell. My only luck is that I'm used to it. You're not a talkative one, wonders Rizanante. I'm not in my best state to shape as you can see. Did you save me? More or less, you whisper and take off the bandages. Hey, It'll never heal like that. If you get an infection, you'll lose your whole leg, he protests. 
trying to stop you. I'll go back, you answer, and his jaw drops. Do you have food? I'm starving. He's still pale as he gives you the bread and looks from a little blanket by his side. You take it and start eating, pulling up your incomplete leg to your left. I mustn't trust him. You're one of Dukumingo's men. He asked me to save you. You also share his name, you say and shake your head a bit to call your ability. I want to hear it from your mouth. Doffy asked you to save me? Doffy? He... He's my brother, says Rosadante, hiding his face over me. He's also the one who shot me. Then, you're the one who worked but I've never seen you before. You think I'd work for someone who forces me to do this? You ask, touching the raw flesh where your shin was supposed to be. He doesn't answer. If Du Flamingo was the one who shot you, just leave the silence. I have nothing to tell you. But you saved me. I won't leave you here. You can't even walk. It was so long ago that anyone cared about me. Even if this little. I'm Sylvia, he whispered before giving it a second thought. Rosadante, he smiled, but get flustered right after. I know your name, remember? Sorry, he chuckled, glancing worriedly at your wound again. I ate the live life fruit, you explained, taking a deep breath. I can't stand it when people pity me. You eat the remnants of the bread and move your hand to me. A little flower grows from the wooden floor in the front in front of the man. Beautiful, he gasped, gently stroking the tiny plant. But how did it save me? It's strange. Before you, everyone I showed this wore the flower off. So you caressed it instead. It didn't hurt it. In exchange for this, you whisper, pointing at your leg again. I can create plants easily, but human cells are very complicated to make. Especially without enough time. I used to have some- I have to use some bait. His eyes widened. You use your own body to mend mine? Don't look at me like that, you protest and hiss. When you lay your hands on the flesh, you wipe off your tears and begin rebuilding the first layer of your life. It'll take some time. So you could heal your own body, for the not side. I'm relieved. You don't even know me. You don't know me either, Sylvia. You smiled, but you saved me. Duke would have me tortured if I hadn't done it. Can you do anything more painful than that? He yes, asked Rosadante, looking at your leg. You don't answer. He stays quiet for a little time and watches you work on the wound. Must have been painful to tear your own leg to pieces. Your body thrills. Not my first. I'm sorry. For everything. At least you're alive, and so am I, he whispered. He nods silently and lights up a cigarette. <laughs> you are on fire! You scream a second later. <laughs> I'm, I'm always on. Wait, what? He shouts and rolls to the ground at the end, <laughs> and the flames of his coat. You freeze down completely. What the hell? Don't worry, I'm fine, I'm fine, he says, jumping back <laughs> onto his legs and a, with a proud smile. He's you so sweat silly. <laughs> He looks down at you. He looks at you and blushes again. Uh, he looks at you, Squid. I was always, always a bit clumsy. A bit? A little bit. You laugh at him. Why did Duflamingo shoot you? I gave a devil fruit to a child to save him. Law. I hope he's fine. You can go after him, you say, leading back to catch your breath. I did you so much of my own for Rosa and Ante. I won't leave you I won't leave you alone after you did this for me, he whispered. Also, I don't know who's my enemy. My brother has men in the navy. You're a marine? you asked, tensing up in your whole body. What if he knows? No, I would have noticed if he knew, right? Duflamingo you Duflamingo said we'd come back in a week. You continue. I don't know what happened between the two of you, but if a child needs you, you have to go. This is something I heard long ago. Something that saved my life. He shakes his head and blows in smoke. I can't do anything for him now. 
If I was able to leave you here for Dolphy, I won't be able If I was- And if I leave you here for Dolphy, I won't be able to forgive myself. I'd be dead without you. <sighs> but I can't go because- Never mind. I just can't. If you want to stay with me, you'll have to wait on the timeline before you return. Where's an auntie not willing? Why? Nothing good is on sight, he whisper. He chuckles and smiles at you, touching your hand tenderly. The first time. Living always living living's always worth a try. Doesn't it? Damn. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> that is simply that is the chapter I read and I was like, this! We have to read this! Like, we need so, it! I- it's literally- that's genuinely my reaction, but... Damn. Mm -hmm. Dude, mm -hmm. we got shafted mm -hmm. with our devil fruit, man. This is- <laughs> Healing- Honestly, that's so cool, though! It- I mean- I mean, it's- it's- it's, it's a pretty- it's a solid cost for healing. Yeah. It's like an eye for an eye, you know? Yeah. I mean, at least we could heal it. At least it's not, like, one-time use. Yeah. It'd be funny if it was one time use and we just shit the bed right there. We have no leg. Oh my god. Yeah. Throw. Uh, amputate it. Terrible. Uh, now that makes sense of why she was like, please cut off my leg. Probably because it'd be less mm -hmm. painful for her. Oh, god I can't it. imagine having to cut off your own leg. Dude, just imagine you, you're like a World War One veteran, and you just got like a cut on your finger. <laughs> they gotta take the whole what? ass arm out. <laughs> oh it. yeah. It's that fucking old me. It was like, man, you. Have you? You, got you heard that thing cut. about that hiker, right? The what? Or the rock climber? His arm got caught, and then he had a cut. Off, I think his arm or his leg, and he had to cut off his own, his own limb. Why? <laughs> Because if not, he would either die there, or he could, you know, lose the limb and get out. Yeah, but what was it trapped on? Like, rope or rocks? Uh, boulders. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> I was like, if it's a rope, just cut the rope! <laughs> Alright, cha chapter two. You're sitting in the crow's nest of a huge ship, shaking in your- shaking in your whole body. The crew is- oh, shit. <laughs> This reminds me of a certain straw hat. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> Poor man. The crew is dead. You're the only one left alive. The man who killed every single soul. Oh, the one that killed every single soul. A nine-year-old child, alone in the middle of the Grand Line, surrounded with corpses. How the fuck do we do that with the- Our whole- our, our double fruits healing. Are we just, like, skilled with a knife or some whoa, shit? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We- we have the, uh... The life life fruit. Yeah, that's right. That oh. doesn't. I know. Hold on, maybe we'll figure it out in a second. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. You're, you're doing a hug like you already know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Look, I'm just, I wanna get there. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm still reading. <laughs> <laughs> too scared to move, too afraid to hurt anyone else. You huddle yourself up and bury your face in your knees, whispering that it's not real. It can't be. Steps sail on the wooden deck below. Don't come closer, he cried. A loud crack sounds and the main mast breaks into two pieces. Not like one piece. It's crazy. You scream as the crow's nest reaches the deck and you fall out of it. What are you doing here? Asks a scary looking man standing opposite to you. You shake your head and bite your lip, trying to stop your tears. He sighs and crouches to you. Do you have a home to return to? You whisper now. The man takes a deep breath. Can you take care of yourself? He asks, and you nod. Then I have a place where you can live. You pout, and he tisses. And you see as he forces a smile on his face. You look scary, you whisper, and his eye twitches. <laughs> I am. But now, come, I can't leave a child on a ship full of dead bodies. He grabs your hand and starts pulling you into his little ship. I don't want to! Don't bring me back! You scream, trying to run away. He rumbles and picks you up, hugging you carefully. He's clearly uncomfortable with the situation. 
I won't hurt you, so try to shut up, noisy little girl. You frown. Are you a pirate? You ask silently, clenching onto his arm. Sort of. My name is... <gasps> Boom! <laughs> Cliffhanger! I think that's Doflamingo. That's just my guess, though. Or it could have been a marine. What, what's that fucking guy's mm -hmm. name? I forgot the... Virgo. It could be Virgo. Rosinante's voice ends your memory and you jerk up. Is cherry flavor okay with you? He asks, meddling with the, the kettle above the fire. Yeah, where did you Just get like all Just like you this? for real. <laughs> you and your cherry flavor tea. <laughs> cherry Jubilee, if I remember correctly. What, me? Yeah. Yeah, it was it was good. I thought you were talking about... <laughs> I thought you were talking about... The you know, you, did the, you know, you like cherry tea. You remembered... Girl, I bought you that tea. Jolene, stop. Okay. You're good, you're good. I bought them Yeah, I bought them from town while you were asleep. Sorry for leaving you alone, he smiles. Why are you so kind? You ask, curious curiously, and he lures? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me? I asked why you're being kind to me. Why wouldn't I? Well, I don't know. He smiles and gives you a cup of tea. Be careful, it's hot. Thanks, we just chuck it and we're like, oh, it's, it's, it's so hot. I was me with the asparagus earlier. <laughs> I, I can fix it with my devil fruit. You Wait, did I skip something? Oh, I did. <laughs> he stands up again and continues bracketing the broken windows. I can fix some of my devil fruit, you offered. You just focus on growing your leg, he says, holding the next nail with his painted lips as he sets the next board. You I forget he wears lipstick. Yeah, well, he, he is that girl, you know? I guess so. He's the I-T-G-I-R-L, man. <laughs> yeah, that, sorry, that was lame. <laughs> no, it didn't, buddy. You smile slightly and turn back to your wound. After you finish the next layer, you lean back to the wall, trying to regain your strength. Look, I have half my shin now, you said proudly, and Rosie uh, glances back at you. Gosh, it still freaks me out. He shivers and you chuckle. Once I finish, you can leave. Then you won't feel guilty about it, you said, picking up your tea. Are you stupid? He mumbles. I mean, yes. <laughs> he mumbles with the nail with between his lips. Healing it won't help at all. I will try to convince Dofi to let you go. It's no use. I must return to him to close our deal. I wonder what deal we have. It's crazy. <laughs> But I can't tell Rosinante about this. I have to make him leave some other way. Do you want to get shot again? You ask. If he didn't want me... Wait, if he didn't want to kill me that time, he won't do it when he comes back. Although, I have no idea what's on his mind. You should go. He lifts your cup to your mouth and drink, but spit it out the next second. It's hot! <laughs> I was right! <laughs> I told you! Shouts back Rosadante, and he accidentally hits his finger on the hammer. Ouch! <laughs> you jump laughing so hard, you pour the tea on yourself from the cup, and you jump up as it burns your chest. Damn. We got fucking third degree burns, broken thumbs, Yikes. womp womp. <laughs> no leg. <laughs> yeah, no womp, leg! Womp. <laughs> <laughs> terrible, 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 terrible. But since you have, but since you have one complete leg now, you start falling to one side. Rosie shouts and jumps to the ground to catch you at the last minute. I didn't even realize that we were falling. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> I guess it was the way I read it. Oh, oh wait, what what's going on here? I read the word centimeters, and that's only gonna be so good. Hold on. Your face was just centimeters far from his. Oh, look, see, I was right. <laughs> Some good shit's happening right now. 
and, and you turn as red as a rose. You feel his breath in your skin and the calm warmth of his body. He gets even more flustered than you as he sees the tea drench your shirt. I will just... You start wabbling. Wait, no, I can... Both of you try to move, but just fall more? He's so close. <laughs> After a few minutes, you stop him and take his hand, slowly moving his arm. He's still so red after you finally leave his embrace and lean back against the wall. You are quite clumsy too, after all, he mutters with a bright blush. So sweet. What am I thinking? <laughs> I'm not. I can make you another tea if you want. I think I had enough tea for today, Rosie, you said, and he frowns for a second. Sorry, can I call you? Wait, can I call you like this? Rice, but Corazon is okay too, he answers, without looking at your eyes. <laughs> you take some food and start and continue healing your leg silently. Corazon. How did you end up with Dofi? said Rosinante, placing some wood in the fire. I was running away from someone, and your brother found me. He must have recognized my devil fruit somehow. Why does it feel so bad to lie to him about this? But given the relationship, I can't do anything else. When did this happen? A few days ago. I hope he didn't... No, he didn't hurt or touch me at all. I was locked up in his room in sea prism every time he left. He looked angered most of the time and sometimes empty. Once he thought I didn't see it, sad. I could have been imagining it, though. Rosinante's frowns. Dofi, he whispers. You lift a brow and he looks at you silently. Amber eyes. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> so chemistry is happening right now and I'm all for it. <laughs> just wait, just wait. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you went to rest first. Corazon insisted on saying guard to let you dream, as he said, but you couldn't sleep. You. You're muffled in his huge black coat by the side of the fireplace. Rosie was sitting at the only intact window, watching the midnight sky. His hair looked like gold in the light of the stars. And even if you didn't want to admit it, you were watching him. Why does his presence comfort me? He's so pure, honest. Doflamingo left us here together. Was he just lacking time, or did he know that things would turn out like this? that I would heal him and he wouldn't leave me alone. But what will happen to him when that man returns? Is our deal still on? I must... It must be since I completed my part. And Rosadante is probably right that his brother won't kill him since he would have just let him to die today. You're still awake, he said suddenly, smiling at something on the other side of the glass. What's the matter? I shouldn't. I'm just afraid of waking up somewhere else, you answer automatically. He turns to you. Why am I telling him the truth? You will wake up here. I promise. He's, he smiles gently. He doesn't ask where it is. I guess he feels like I wouldn't tell him. It's silent. A, li a little bit too silent, you said, trying to stand up. You grow a branch from the floor and use it as a crunch. I should go. Can I help? I'm fine, thank you. I just need some fresh air. You answer, walking through the door. If I disappear now, he won't have any reason to stay on this island. He has to find that child before it's too late. I can't cause more pain to anyone. Almost set my goal. My deal with Doflamingo is the last step. Be careful, he smiles kindly. And if you decide not to come back, I was it was glad to meet you. Honestly. Damn, he he read us like a book. He knew we were gonna bolt. <laughs> uh you freeze at the open door with widened eyes. What did you say? He looked back at the sky. I don't know what what is in my future. I know nothing since that day. 
since he shot me. <laughs> he laughs nervously. I have no idea what to do, Sylvia. You, the Marines, Law, Dophy. It's like chess when you have no place to move. A stalemate. And for me, it's worse than a loss to be useless. And then you're surrounded by walls. No way to escape the fate that you're not even aware of yet. You can't move. The wind blows the snow into your hair and the fire dies out. Sorry, mutters Rosadante, hiding his eyes with his hands. This is too much. It's okay, you whisper, and leave him there, stepping outside. You can go slowly, only with only one leg, but after like ten meters you stop. You want to move, run further, but your body stays there. You remember his clear amber eyes looking at you. Eyes without pity, fear, or disgust at your sight. You wipe a single tear and turn back before thinking about it. Return to the little lonely home in the middle of the winter field. You close back the door behind you silently. Rosadante fell asleep at the window, his head leaning on the glass. You look at your hands. What am I doing? You light up the fireplace. Why am I back? Your eyes are scared and wide as you realize. Why do I care about him? Only because he was kind to me? Or because of his scent was comforting? His smile? What? <laughs> you slap your face roughly to come back to reality. And boom, there goes gravity. Rosinante wakes up to the sound and clumsily falls off the ledge. When he sees you, he frowns, and so do you. <laughs> you are back, he whispers. I said I need some fresh air, you answer, even if both of you knew it was not true. I don't have anywhere to go. He doesn't come closer. He leans his back against the wall. You said you were running away from someone. It's not Dophy, right? No. Then why do you want me to s stay here, Sylvia? Did he capture someone you love? Uh, I have only one man I care about, and I doubt Doflamingo could capture him. Ooh, wait a minute. Who- who is this him? A father figure? Ooh. Oh wait, the guy from the flashback! Oh yeah! I'm trying- I wanna see if I- if I can guess. It'd be really funny if it's someone, like, powerful in the Marines. Like, Garp. It's the... <laughs> Probably not Garp. I don't know, I thought it'd be funny. Or that fucking Adam Sandler <laughs> looking guy. The guy with the light powers. That would be funny. Yeah. Who's the other guy? What, the fire the dude? Beat, like, the... No. No. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> the guy, he's got, like, glasses and, like, a, like a long beard that I got. Oh, up. not that guy. He's a one-off character. What? Yeah, the guy with the really? hard glasses with the yo-yo. He shows up, like, sometimes, but he's no, not no, really no, 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 the marine. The marine. The marine one. Yeah, he's a marine. Hold oh, clip. <laughs> no, wait. Hold up. No, the Admiral. Cody? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> hold up. Hold I'm, up. I'm, hold up. <laughs> hold up. I'm scared and confused. <laughs> well, you looked that up. <laughs> I never seen... We haven't seen each other in many years. Then Goku. Oh. <laughs> My bad. That one. <laughs> You I don't got know. me so confused. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> oh, there's just a lot of Marines. But even that, it, it, maybe it's not a Marine. It's just a random, powerful dude. Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's gotta be someone more powerful than Doflamingo, because, you know... Fuck that guy. It could be an Emperor. It could be, like, a very much well-known pirate. It could be a Marine. Oh, yeah, he did say he was kind of a pirate, didn't he? Yeah, he did sort of. Mmm. Oh, the... The lore! <laughs> anyway, proceed, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's possible that he doesn't even remember me. Rosadante slowly nods. Will that child be okay? You ask a few minutes later. He is free, whispers Rosadante with a smile on his face. Free. You fix the windows well? Thank you. Both of you blush a little, and you 
Rather turn to the wall to hide it, pretending that you sleep. You pull the black leather coat on your body, since he didn't take it back. A few minutes later, you hear his steps as he sits beside you to the fire. No wonder, the house is still cold. But your heart misses a beat when he leans down and puts his coat a little upper, a little bit higher on your body to cover your neck too. <gasps> he's being romantic! Holy oh, shit! I'm... <laughs> oh my god, he's just being nice! Oh, sorry. <laughs> No, we'll get there, we'll get there, it's okay. Yeah, don't, don't spoil the fun yet. <laughs> As he hesitates for a moment before tenderly moving your hair out of, out of your face, too. Corazon strokes your cheek and puts some wood into the fire and lays down like a half a meter of far away from you. You insisted on giving me this coat, but aren't you cold like this? He falls asleep quite fast and you open your eyes when you hear his... His breathing. Can I? And then he shivers in his sleep. You know that you would have... You wouldn't have any... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! Mm -hmm. You don't have any other choice. You crawl closer and lay to the side of his huge body, covering both of you with the black coat. I guess that thing is pretty fucking big. <laughs> when you feel the same warmth and scent as at the time when you fell asleep, as you fell at him, you nestle even closer to his skin. Rosadante smiles in his sleep and hugs you with one arm carefully. As you watch his calm face, you were finally able to fall asleep. Oh my god, it's a romance! <laughs> next chapter, next chapter, ah. next chapter, next chapter! <laughs> oh shoot, oh shoot! Oh. I have an ad! No! Chapter Dirk! <laughs> oh my god, this fan art! Oh, it's so beautiful. How many chapters are there? There's like 13. 13? This needs like 26. Well, we don't know what's happening though. Mm -hmm. You want slow burn? We, oh, wait. we healed this man and we're about. falling in love. What else is there to need? <laughs> okay. When you wake up, he's nowhere to be seen. You jump up, leaning against the wall to stay on your foot. Rosen. You push your palm to your mouth to shut up. He's not my friend. He has nothing to do with me. His coat disappeared too. The fire almost out. You shiver and put some wood on it. No wonder he left. It'll probably be best this way. I hope you will find law. I'll wait here for your brother. We have an agreement after all. I can't break it. I don't even, I don't even want it. But why can I reveal it to you? You had heard about it. Would have run away earlier. Maybe I wouldn't. But if you try to stop me. No, Sylvia. Don't think. It's over now and he's on his way to have a child. It's been for the best for them. For me. And for this world. You blow the fire for a few minutes and pull it shining brightly again. The sun isn't up yet. You continue healing your wounds little by little. I always hated this. Building myself back as you would tie a ruined doll together it would make me feel as I'm not even human anymore. I shouldn't be surprised that others don't see me like what. Oh, what the fuck? This is when you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is when you hear a loud shout and crazy meowing from the outside. You lift your arm, ready to protect yourself, but the door bursts open and someone falls inside. A very tall, blonde man fighting a serious, hopeless battle with the beast of the night. Or in a nutshell, Rosinante trying to hold a cat. So many things happen in a few seconds after this. He comes mucker in a huge red fur kitten, flies through the air right into your lap. You scream when it accidentally claws your thighs as it hurries away. Catch it! Scream Rosinante, throwing himself through the room, but the cat just kisses at him and runs over his back, making feathers fly around the place. You come round and deflate your arm. A branch grows up the wall and grabs the kitten in the middle of the air. It gets pissed, meowing at Corazon with raw anger. The man sits up. The red hat falls off his head, freeing his wavy locks. Thanks, he mutters at you brightly. You can't help but and you can't help but smile back. Rosie turns to the cat. Come on, Thurstenwald. Thurstenwald, I named him. 
and this forest I'm happily reaching for the cat. Do you like it? It claws at his palm and you start laughing. No wonder it hurts you if you call him like this. Rosie huffs loudly and massaging his hand. You smile and move your arm to the branch. Brings the pissed cat into your arm. Hey, Waldy, I'm Sylvie. I'm Sylvia. I know you got me saying Sylvie. I'm dead. Anyway, <laughs> you said, carefully patting his head. The cat purrs and you let him go. Curls into a big furry ball on your lap and, cor and you caress him happily. Never understood women or cats. That throws me dramatically and sits up. For real? He smiled and his eyes widen. Was that a joke? Was it too bad? He asked back, blushing. Blush <laughs> no, not the puns! Uh, don't worry, it was perfect. He answered, distrustfully eyeing the cat. You laugh with him for a few seconds, then your smile to the fear. I thought you laughed. What? Rosie looks at you. I said I won't leave you alone. You should. Stop this nonsense. You have no chance to convince me. He huffs and you cast down your eyes. And where did you find this little devil? You drive away the conversation, pointing at the red cat. In the forest when I was looking for some more firewood. I don't see firewood. <laughs> I sacrificed it to bring him with me. He answers, pouting at the dying fire. You can't save everything in a fierce battle, Sylvia. You smile and grow two little trees from the floor. His cigarette falls as he drops his jaw. I told you to focus on your leg, he shouts. Calm down. I only have the foot left, and if fire goes out, we'll be cold again. He sighs and starts to break and chop the wood. And why did you bring this? Awful creature here, you ask, wolfing the kitten. It hisses at you to denote its displeased. There, cat shrugs her head on the table, like it's the most unequivocal thing in the world, in the universe. We won't, we won't be here for long, and I hope he has a real family. He wonders, placing the cat on your lap. But it's lost belief in you, so it walks away to the other side of the room. You watch Rosinante as he chops the firewood. He didn't leave me. I want to be honest with him, but I can't even imagine talking about the past, my present. So you were a marine, right? You ask. Corazon turns around and looks at you for a few seconds. He's thinking about if he could trust me or not. I was. He smiled. I am, I guess. I was with Dolphy to stop him from doing something terrible with the country. How would he do anything by himself? By power and by blood, Rosie whispers. You don't even ask about it when you see his face darkening. You turn back to your injured leg, examining the work you did with it. Dobby blinds everything, Sylvia. Continues with an auntie. He'll get so much power that I won't have a chance against him. My only hope was to give away information about him to the Navy before it becomes too strong. But you failed. He shivers and you said the harsh words. Damn. <laughs> that was so rude of us. <laughs> like, wow, but I mean, I get it, I get it. And we're like, wow, and then you sucked at that too. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. I didn't think he had people in the lines of the Marines too. My research landed in the hands of the worst person. Now I don't know what to do. Fail me. Yeah. If I go. I may just run into one of his men. Why are you telling me this? He gets a bit surprised. Why the question? Are you a bad person or anything? I am. Oh shit. Rosinante <laughs> <laughs> <Christian, I> <laughs> pulls down a little axe and walks towards you, crashing down opposite of you. You are not evil, he whispers, looking into your eyes. You can't stand his clear, kind gaze and turn your head. You are broken. Sylvia. Even I can see it. Damn. Your breath drops and you feel a tear drip traveling down your face. You're talking stupid things. You shout, quickly wiping your tears. I don't need you, Rosinante. Go away. Leave this fucking island. Leave me. Everyone who stayed in my life left me and I'm still alive, see? 
You try to stand, but your injured leg hurt, and you lose balance for a second. Rosanante steps back as you scream. I don't need anyone! But your body gives up and you collapse. Corazon looks at you as you start hitting the floor. I'm weak. I'm always too weak, you yell. A hidden, conscious part of your mind is trying to get back in control, but the surge is too strong now. I don't want to die, but I have to die to save others. I have to cut off my leg. I have to heal. I have to destroy. I have to live. I have to kill. You laugh. Crying so hard that your tears paint the floor when the wooden floor dark. The skin rips on your hand as you hit it again, but a warm palm reaches your forearm. It didn't hold you back by force. It just touched you, but your movement stopped. Your watery eyes looked up and find Rosinante's luring face. You stop shaking in the surge, and he doesn't say a word, watching your face. What happened to you, Sylvia? You don't answer, you just glare into nothing. Whew. How could I be so... How could I let anyone see this? Corazon sighs and pulls out some food from his pocket, giving it to you. You take it and eat silently. I know that you don't trust me, he continues, and I can't blame you for it, but I want to trust you. Will it help if I talk about myself first? You're still avoiding his gaze. The Navy whispered. What? The Navy did this. Rosanante <gasps> freezes down completely, glaring at your face, but you fell back into the calm emptiness of the hollow in your soul. Look at me, Sylvia, he says with a shaking. I don't want to hurt you. Nobody forces Nobody forces you to have forces you to do anything. There's nothing you have to do. You wipe away a tear and find his amber eyes with yours. With the Nante smiling calmly, trying to hide his confusion. Your heart aches at the sight. He tries to help me. You don't look at me like this. Or someone carefully reaches for your face and strokes your teeth. Well, he notices it, and pulls his hand back. Search the mold, hisses at him, and runs to your lap, to clawing the air in front of Rosie jealously. You smile slightly, and hug the red fur ball. You're not like the ones who made me like this, hugging on. Therapy cat, you say? You scratch your eyes in your sleep. Your calm, and beautiful eyes. You shiver and stop your thoughts. Why am I like this? Getting attached to anyone shows me the, the little kindness. Damn, we're not on its own. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't think that's what this is. My bad. But go off, King. S slip, slip down. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore. Tell me something about your past that you offered. You whisper, and his tense body relaxes. Rosanante smiles, but somehow his speaker stays sad. You don't have to. You stay, but he just shakes his head. I won't. Don't worry, he says sadly as he starts. Everything began when my father decided to leave Marnie Joy. Later. Sometimes you stop to take a little break, to see if you want to hear the rest or not. He always just nodded to show that you do. He told you about his childhood with Doflamingo, which almost broke your heart. And then, his brother killed their father, then Goku found him, and ten years later as a marine, he joined Duflamingo to stop him before reaching Dressrosa. But, he found that child, Law, and he became more important to him than anything else. He watched his face, searching for a sign of a liar, but he told the truth when he finishes. And when he finishes, you have no thoughts. Why do you trust him so this one? You ask, silently, corrupting Wolby. Because he can't expect me to care without trust. Oh shoot. He answered, playing with a lock in his blonde hair. Maybe he's right. I was with this wait, it's CP0, right? Or CPO? CP0. Okay. I was with the CP0, you say and shiver. Corazon frowns opposite you. His eyes are wide and worried. Well, we all the wrestle he squirms in your embrace as he sends the suspense in the air. Were they the ones who forced you to do those things you cried? Asked Rosie carefully. Still can't trust him very much. 
but I don't want him to leave. Rosanante, can you stay with me? I deal with Duflamingo, my past, all those haunting things. But I feel so weak alone, always. I don't want to ask about anything that hurts you, he remembers embarrassing. Sorry if I brought up anything to the surface. It's okay. I'm fine. You can ask me if you really want to. What do I have to lose? Maybe I can be honest once before I die. Even if it's not about everything. Prepare yourself as you ask something that you, were n you never expected. You said there's only one man. Would you tell me who that is? He smiled gently. He wants me to talk about a happier time. He doesn't want to hurt me. Rosanante doesn't want to. You let go of Waldy, looking in your arm. You still remember the feeling that man's huge hands as he led you to the boat when he rescued you from the ship you destroyed. Rich and Wald takes the chance of freedom and attacks the blonde who gave him the cursed name. You catch the kid in the last second for catastrophe, smiling at Rosanante. And his name is Sergio Mihawk! Ah! Mihawk sold us in the Navy! <laughs> we love Mihawk! Yes! Finally. We win! It all comes full circle. <laughs> oh, gosh. I am invested in what's about uh, to happen. Oh my god! Okay. I need more! Should we keep going? Well, I, th I think that I, th I think that should do it, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! I don't think I've ever read so well in my life. I cannot wait to read this again. <laughs> oh my god! That is so good. I'm gonna end up reading the rest of this. <laughs> no wait, I can't because I, I want to experience it with you. Yes, uh, you better! <laughs> I, I want to, I want to, but I'm just like, I want to read ahead so bad. Dude, dude, don't, that was, don't do it. If that you're gonna read so... ahead of any book, I... read the Mihawk and Shanks ahead of the time this scene. No, no, I'm, <laughs> I am not prepared for another scene. <laughs> I We gotta do that together. We gotta yeah. do it together. No, but, oh my god! <laughs> That is genuinely beautiful. This is like my favorite fic so far that we've read. Yeah. Of even all the fics we've read, this is, this is even even better than the law one. <gasps> Dude, we get F after we read up. There's so trailer? much the drama of this one. The drama of this one really hit. Yeah. And I'm just like, there are times where I'm just like, <laughs> like hyperventilating and like my heart drops. I'm just like, oh my god, what? Who are we? <laughs> Who am I? Sylvia! You poor baby! I am wondering, like, um... I mean, I was wondering that in One Piece, when uh, Corazon actually, like, he does die in One Piece and whatnot. Uh, spoilers! What do you mean, spoilers?! I mean, it's said in For the, the audience! He's oh, dead! <laughs> <laughs> no. If you know who Corazon is, you know he's dead! By the time he's introduced, he's Rest dead! Peace, yeah. Mwah. He, he's like a multi Sending kisses to the afterlife. <laughs> But like in in the canon One Piece, he is dead and whatnot. Yes, I've always yes, wondered yes. like, because once a devil fruit user dies, their devil fruit reappears in the world. Mm -hmm. So there's another user of it. I wonder like if they ever will introduce who has Corazon's fruit. Me, it's me. <laughs> you appear in the, in, in Egghead Island. Appear. You're like I am him. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's see if we land on Corazon. Let's see. We need oh to know. Oh my god. Please. For your choice forever. I mean, the last time it was my choice with uh, with Minho and up, I made him read a fucking uh, a robots fan fiction, so maybe it's but not okay. I thought you said that was a Minho's choice. No. I picked that. <laughs> oh my god. We're such, I'm such a good role. You should shuffle them first. Alright, yeah, just fucking... Yeah, okay. Ooh, me, oh my god, me, though. Ha, me, ha, oh my god! Oh, wait a minute! Oh, we're getting a throwback. Yeah, we gotta go to Bible Ooh. study. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's been a while. Yeah, I gotta get all dressed up in my Sunday finest. 
so we can read them. We're gonna get dressed up to not be seen. Yeah. I'm wearing a ball gown and it's just me and my my pajamas. Is yeah, that the same? I guess I'll sit in pajamas being like, I'm wearing a floral dress in my Sunday hat. Yes, yes. What's those <laughs> stupid rich people hats where it's like, it has like the little, it's mainly like, maybe like funerals and whatnot. It has like a little bit of a fishnet thing that comes down, but it's this little bonnet hat that just clips into the hair. I, I don't think that's a funeral hat or a rich. Well, I mean, not if you, like if you turn it black, then you, it's a it's a funeral hat and whatnot. But like, I don't know, some preppy old bitches wear that kind of crap. I'm trying to think, uh, like, it has a feather in it sometimes. It's a flat little thing. I don't, mm, I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. Yeah. But <laughs> I, don't I understand know. what you're talking about. No, thank God, because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to get religious. I can't wait to figure out how the Mushroom Kingdom came to be, and all the tribes. I think we- oh my- I think we only read one chapter we of that, read, right? It was so long. Yeah. I, we only did one episode of it, so... I'm very excited to see what, uh, that what was other back lore. In September? October? That was like the second book I made you read. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's a long time coming. This is, this is a sequel that the people need. I think. <laughs> yeah. How- Alright, well, if you love to check out this Corazon X Reader book, I will have a link below in the Please description. Please do. Uh, oh support the God. author. This is really fucking good. <laughs> and, um, and Jolene, thank you for coming out here and thank you for picking this it's book a, so I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> uh, a, you know, I'm I'm trying to get better at picking books. <laughs> You're like, okay, and I think I did a really good job. I mean, you've been, you've been, like, nailing these last ones, and especially the last one we read. That one was Look, definitely I nailed. was so surprised. <laughs> I was- Hey. Hey. <laughs> it, I mean, the writing was really good. Yeah. And I was just like, I was just so surprised. Normally yeah. there's a warning with, like, smut scenes. Yeah. That's if they're nice enough to do that, you know? <laughs> It's not that they weren't nice, it's just that, you know, it says mature on the title, I think. Yeah. You, you, and, you know, I just didn't expect it so soon. Yeah, I thought that, I thought that was gonna be, the, like, the last, like, the last chapter, like, the second last chapter, mm -hmm. and then, like, like, getting it on. That's not, just our experience. Yeah. Not masturbation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like how, oh, I forgot your, yeah. <laughs> I'm surrounded by religious people right now. <laughs> Oopsie! Wait, I'm glad they can't hear me, right? No, they can't. It's through my headset. Perfect, perfect. If you need me to say something, I got you. Yeah, they they, they can't hear me. I'm listening to Kids Bop right now. <laughs> yeah, Kids Bop. Yeah. But uh, also, uh, fuck, what's my line? <laughs> uh, check out the playlist uh, thank on you for screen. Watching. Yeah, that too. <laughs> thank you for watching. And uh, check out the playlist on screen for different Wattpad videos, including different people. I recommend Jolene, though. She's one of the good ones. Oh, thank you. It's... I'm so honored. I mean, there's not a lot of people that are female that I record with that I can just simp over fictional characters with and not be called, like, down bad and go to horny jail or whatever. <laughs> so, you who could not believe the things I've seen. <laughs> But anyway, my name is Phoenix, that was Jolene, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.